IT infrastructure to produce and distribute required information. And when it comes to business information systems, three terms project out. CRM, ERP and SCM. But what are they? Are they similar? How are they different? In this session, we will cover all that is relevant to CRM versus ERP versus SCM. But before we move on to the session, make sure you're subscribing to our YouTube channel and enabling that bell icon so that you will never miss any insightful updates from IntelliPad. So without any further ado, let's go to today's agenda. What are business information systems? What is CRM? Pros and cons of CRM. What is ERP? Pros and cons of ERP. What is SEM? Pros and cons of SEM. Major differences major applications, and finally, a quick recap of the entire session. So without any more further wait, let's get on to the first topic. What are business information systems? Information, technology systems, and people are all involved in the field of business information systems. The tools, the techniques, and the concepts of several disciplines are used in this applied managerial profession to find solutions to a variety of business problems. The business information system is further divided into the likes of transaction processing system, management information system, and enterprise-wide system. Among these, the enterprise-wide system consists of the functions of the departments such as HR, sales, manufacturing, accounting, inventory, etc. Earlier, all these systems were done manually or without automation, whereas today, all of them especially the enterprise-wide system, are all automated. And that is where the CRM, ERP and SEM comes into picture. They are the three components of the enterprise-wide system. Now let's dive deeper into each one of them. Which brings us to our next topic which is What is CRM? CRM or Customer Relationship Management tools control the customer relationship cycle and offer important information into how a company interacts with everyone from leads to dedicated repeat clients. It is the ultimate sales and the marketing tool and turns many of the soft touch moments that occurs in the sales and marketing into usable data. A tool known as the Customer Relationship Management or CRM is used to handle all the interactions and relationships between your business and its clients. The objective is straightforward. Strengthen the business ties to expand your company. CRM systems assist businesses in maintaining contact with clients, streamlining procedures and boosting profitability. A CRM system, a technology that aids in contact management, sales management, agent productivity and other tasks is what most people mean when they mention CRM. Today, the Customer Relationship Management or CRM systems can be used to manage customer connections throughout the customer lifecycle, including the interactions in marketing, sales, digital commerce and customer service as well. The Pros and Cons of CRM Let's see the pros and cons of Customer Relationship Management. The Pros there are numerous top-of-the-field CRMs that automate as much as possible despite the fact that many CRMs heavily rely on the manual data entry. These tools can save your sales staff many hours of research time so they can spend more time selling integrating with web and social media search. Your CRM can expand as your business does. As your customer base grows, adding new customers and functionalities is simple. You can begin with as few seats as necessary and increase the number as necessary. The majority of the CRM lets you arrange the information's appearance on the screen so that most of the crucial data is at the top where a sales representative wants it to be. Additionally, custom dashboards, reports and pipelines can greatly simplify a number of responsibilities for both the sales representative and the sales manager. Now let's see the cons. Depending on the CRM you select, your sales team might have to manually catalog a significant amount of data. Over the course of a week, month, quarter and the year, this can definitely build up ultimately leading to less time spent actually selling. 
The CRMs can have expensive subscription fees, which are often determined by how many years or seats are needed. Additionally, you might have to pay for outside advice or employ an internal administrator. Larger firms typically don't have a problem with this, but small and medium-sized businesses may experience significant setbacks. CRM is unable to identify errors in the data or when the data is no longer relevant. Before the data is entered into the CRM, it must be checked, updated and sorted by a person or a group of people, otherwise the outcomes may be unpredictable. Now let's move to our next topic. What is ERP? ERP or Enterprise Resource Planning is intended to act as a comprehensive corporate management solution. It is a collection of connected applications. Decision makers at a firm now have access to actionable data on variety of tasks. It is a collection of connected applications. Decision makers at a firm now have access to actionable data on a variety of tasks such as product development, sales and customer services. Due to its modular architecture, it can be anything or adopt a more minimalistic style. Business can design an ERP specifically for their needs. The ERP uses hardware and software resources to compute a variety of things, hence it is related to computing. In accordance with the requirements of the organization, an ERP system saves, retrieves, updates, cleans and converts the data. Some of the technologies related with the ERP are Data Warehousing, CRM and SEM, Data Mining and BPR. Now let us go through the pros and cons of ERP. Initially, let's go through the pros. The main advantage of using an ERP system are accurate and transparent information. These benefits are important selling aspects as well. By making data from every department accessible for you and your senior management, ERP software enables complete access to every crucial process in your business. The modular design of modern ERP is among its most important benefits. Most ERP providers offer a variety of applications that can be combined based on organizational requirements. Each program can be used independently or in conjunction with a larger package. Your business will be able to pick and choose the components that function best while omitting the ones you don't require. On the market, ERP has a wide range of benefits and drawbacks. Fortunately, one of those many benefits of ERP is that it takes less time and effort to do daily tasks. When deployed properly, an ERP solution can dramatically reduce or eliminate tedious manual operations, freeing up the team members to concentrate on activities that have direct impact on income. Now let's go through the cons. If you decide to invest in a typical ERP system, such as SAP Business One, the cost of a single license may easily reach five figures. The biggest drawback of ERP software is unquestionably its cost. Particularly for small to medium-sized firms, the upfront cost of the software alone can be unaffordable. ERP software systems offer a wide range of functions, making the program complex and difficult to operate. It happens frequently that businesses get caught up with the possibilities of ERP solution but neglect on property plan for its adoption. When it comes to ERP installation, you won't get a significant return on investment or ROI unless you understand the system's ins and outs and how to use it effectively. Your firm will eventually prosper and the appropriate solution to that meets your needs as an organization. Here, there are no shortcuts. What is SCM? At its most basic level, supply chain management or SCM is the control of the movement of materials, information and the money associated with the goods or service from the acquisition of raw materials to the delivery of the goods at the final location. Although SEM has always been a cornerstone of the business, the supply chain is now more important than ever as a gorge of company success. Can successfully manage their supply chains to the change with the rapidly evolving, turbulent and technologically driven business environment of today will survive and prosper. 
In the future, supply chains will focus more on the responsiveness and the managing client experiences through networks than through their linear models. Every node in the network needs to be responsive and adaptable to the needs of the user while also being able to manage issues like sourcing, trade regulations, shipping methods and other issues. Now let's go through the pros and cons of SCM. Initially, let's go through the pros. Supply chain management provides inventories, software for managing project management to benefit from an on-demand or optimizing the outcome with a lean inventory model and internal inventory. One of the key benefits of supply chain management is that it fosters data-driven decision-making and fruitful partnerships in order to do predictive risk assessments and successfully manage changes and disruptions. There are also methods and technologies in place. One of the most important advantages of supply chain management is that it, via effective communication and collaboration, decreases the distribution disparities, logistical errors, and production and shipping delays. Now let's go through the cons. The method of supply chain management has a significant flaw in that it is highly expensive to implement. Small businesses are unable to afford the large time financial and other resource commitment that is necessary. Due to the fact that it involves numerous corporate departments, the supply chain management process is extensive. Because it covers several departments, it can work occasionally, be difficult, making the workers and employees feel uneasy and demotivated. The biggest problem with the SEM is that it depends on perfect coordination between every department in the organization, Otherwise, the system would fail. Now, let us look at the major differences. A CRM or a customer relationship management controls how the customers and the business communicate with one another. This includes everything from acquiring a contact to a proposal, the purchasing process, the scale and the after sales support. Building buyer personas and customer segments, generating insights and even obtaining data from the other digital sources like social media are all made easier by it for sales and marketing. In order to resolve product issues that arise after a sale and enhance the customer support experience, service teams are given the ability to generate cases. Whereas, Materials Requirement Planning or MRP, which is the planning and scheduling of inventory for the pre-production process, gave rise to the ERP systems. An ERP, however, goes beyond MRP by fusing and integrating all the various facets of a business into a single database. This enables manufacturers to arrange activities and procedures to communicate production data with entire company. And finally, the businesses are better equipped to coordinate operations, increase efficiency, and estimate demand more accurately, plan better, and guarantee that the consumers receive their orders in whole and on schedule when they have data about materials and goods as they move through the supply chain. Now let's move on to our next topic, Top Tools. Now let us go through some of the most widely used tools across the globe for CRM, ERP and SCM respectively. Top CRM tools includes the Salesforce CRM, the Zoho CRM, the SAP CRM, Monday.com CRM service and the HubSpot CRM. Whereas the top ERP tools include Oracle NetSuite, Microsoft Dynamic 365, the SAP's ERP service, and finally the Acumatica. The top SEM tools involves SAP SEM, the Blue Yonder SEM, Oracle SEM, Manhattan Associates SEM, and finally the Descartes SEM. Now let's have a quick recap of the entire session. Initially, we went through what are the business information systems. Then we went on to see what is the CRM, and then its pros and cons. And then we saw what is ERP, and then we saw the pros and cons of ERP, after which we saw what is SCM, and then we went on to see its pros and cons, after which we mentioned a lot of major differences between the SEM, ERP, and CRM. And finally, we went through the top tools used for each of these. 
That's all for the session. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribing to our YouTube channel and enabling that bell icon so that you will never miss any insightful updates from IntelliPad. Just a quick info guys. IntelliPad provides Salesforce online training mentored by industry experts. The course link is given in the description below.